copyright notices if you wish to read pause the video the original videos are linked in the description down below enjoy all right then so in this one what you're gonna see is a group of people preaching preaching the bible and you're gonna see uh an lgbtqrs vw xy member come and assault him when i say assault i mean throw a hot drink over him that is assault. I don't give a shit what gender you are or what your fucking sexuality you are. Assault is assault. But what you're going to see in this one is how the police deal with this. This is pff, fucking our policing today, the walk police today. Let's just get straight into it. Drunkenness, lying, stealing, killing, all these things are sin. Why are you so angry when I mention homosexuality? Why are you not angry when I talk about drunkenness or sexual promiscuity or, or, or something else? Why are you so angry when I talk about homosexuality? That's called an abomination. That's called an abomination. That's an abomination, madam. That's idolatry. We don't need pictures. That's idolatry. You created your own God. That's the problem. You created your own God. You created your own God that is very comfortable for you, man. You're very comfortable. But a man, an angry man, another angry man, another angry man, another angry man. God loves you, but He hates your sins. He hates your sins. You're telling, you're telling, you're telling little children. All right. So what I'm getting from this so far. There's alcoholics and gays what don't agree with what he's saying because he's saying they are sinning. The Bible says that what they are doing is a sin. All he's doing is preaching the Bible. I know I've done a few of these ones, but these ones actually highlight our policing to what it actually is and what it actually stands for. So in this one, like I said, the rant at the end, you, you're probably not going to like what I've got to say after you, so you don't have to watch it, but there is going to be a rant at the end about this exact thing. But let's continue. Little children, little boys, that they girls. And you're, 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 you're so happy about this. You're, little girls are boys, and little boys are girls. No, a boy is a boy, a girl is a girl. Simple. There's only two genders a man and a woman. That is it. You're born a man, you stay a man. A woman is a woman Come because on. she carries yeah. the oh, If you don't have a womb, you are a brother. Simple as that. And God has created it that way. Yeah. If you don't like it, take care with him. Don't take so what he's actually saying is what half of the people in this world are too scared to say. There is two genders, I don't give a shit what you say. In a thousand years time when you get dug up, they're not going to go, well actually this might have been one of these... Uh, uh, people ad identifies as a man. No, they're going to look at the size of your hips like they have done for generations and determine if you're a male or a female through your bones. That is how they determine male and female, your bone structure. If you've got thicker bones, you are a male. If you've got wider hips, you are a female. It is that simple. In a thousand years' time, when they're digging you up, that's what they will look at. Why are you me? Oh, again, another angry man, another angry man, assaulting, assault, nobody touched you, and you're still angry, you're still angry, that is the result of believing in lies and deception, that's the result, I still love you, God still loves you, you can do whatever you want, you can't take my soul, my soul only belongs to Christ Jesus, not to any man. That is the result. Assault. Physical assault, Physical assault. is the result of thank you, thank you. you believing thank you. in nonsense. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I'll keep preaching, people. And I'll give you the good news. So what you've heard then is our walk, what you've, well, what you've just witnessed, is our walk uh, country coming to its knees through people's feelings. So you've just witnessed this guy run up out of nowhere, and throw a coffee over this preacher for preaching the truth. Everything he said is true. So I don't understand why is, he thinks it's appropriate to assault people. That is assault, plain and simple. You have thrown something onto somebody. Especially at the moment where you've got that crazy guy running around London throwing acid at people. 
this guy thinks it's appropriate to throw coffee at somebody which could uh, burn him. Simple as that. And then he runs off. The funny thing is, he does it and runs off. That's a coward. That is a coward. You are getting arrested. Really? You are getting arrested. Do why did you, me, why did you physically touch him? Right you cannot please, touch him. What's going on? Police. Yeah? police. What's going on? You're the police? Yeah, yeah what's going on? Yeah, he just threw. He's not, he's arrested. He just threw. Now, I just asked him. He just assaulted my friend. He just assaulted my friend. He wouldn't run away from He just assaulted my friend. Yeah, my Okay, hey. then. So, not only is this skinny little freak just assaulted somebody, now he, to me, is where to what he just said. Move him away before I finish him off. Could be also pursued as threats to kill. Finish him off. What does he mean by that? Is he gonna? Is this skinny little invalid gonna knock him out, or is he gonna try and kill him? So what's what's happening? What's happening? Okay, I'm. <laughs> 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 I know I managed to get some of your coffee as well. Oh yeah, you got some. Look. Wow. I don't know, she's run away. Did you did you record this? Yeah, yeah, you recorded. Tell us what happened, my bro. What happened, bro? bro? I don't know what happened. What happened my the Holy bro? Spirit took over. Yes. And then I just <laughs> followed. That's all what happened. On, man. Gave them the truth. Yeah, you know, yeah. when people when you are mentioning about sin, people yes. are convicted in their hearts. Yes. Especially homosexuality. Yes. And that is what the Bible says. The end of the day will be like the days of Noah. In the yes. days of Noah, they were drinking, having marriage, all these things. All, all the madness, homosexuality was like number one. Yes. As soon as you mention that, people are angry. Yes. Okay, be angry. Why are you so aggressive? And your heart needs to be changed. God oh. looks at the heart. He doesn't look at the outward appearance. That's what we're given today. Very so good. you can be accepted back to eternal life. Cheers. Come on, so this is where we're going to get into what the main problem actually is with our police. Everything after this point shows what is wrong with our police, our police and how they'd go around policing. We'll just get straight into it. I'm not going to rant too much at this bit. I'm going to point out what I think is wrong about how they do their job. Uh, he basically, he's just because like, you've been assaulted, you just wanted to know obviously if you wanted to, obviously file a complaint you've been assaulted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no worries. That's all right. Um, do you mind coming with me to Oxford Police Station and then obviously we can do it on No, no, he'll just give you a statement now. We're not, we can't. I, I have to do it on thing because he's. You can use a statement. No, no, no. I was literally off duty, I was going to work. That's what I was trying to tell you earlier. Right, we, we, it's just we have to, we have to be somewhere. You, you can still take the statement. Yeah, yeah but yeah. I have to go and do it at the Oxford Police Station. Yes. How long will it take? No, it depends. It's usually, how long no, no, it's no, going to waste your time. Hi, Trust me. Yeah, we waited four hours. He can, he can take your statement now. Just take the statement now. He can take the statement. Take I cannot take a statement now. He has to be in a police station. No, no, you can't take uh, a statement anyway, sir. Come on. Come on. He has to be, because we have to do it on computers. No, I don't have a computer. You, you, you can take the statement now. And you can put it on the computer and get back. Mate, police, I police officer. Police officer. Yeah? Yeah, you can take a statement. Police officer. Yeah, police officer. Just yeah. be reasonable with us, yeah? Yeah. You're asking us to come there, but we yeah. need to go somewhere. You can take the statement right now. Why is it every time it comes to something the police don't want to deal with, they're like, you need to come to the police station so we can do it for the police station. No, you don't. Get your little book out. Let him make a formal, uh, a, a formal complaint. Make the, let him make his statement right there in front of you. You don't need to go to a police station to do it. You can do that in a later date. You can take the complaint. You can go and arrest the person what's done it with all of the other witnesses and video of him doing it. And then when it comes to making another complaint, they can go to a police station and make a a formal statement. At the minute, they can do a, 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 a statement at the moment, raising the concern, and then do a, a formal statement at the police station. This is the only time I ever see the police inconveniencing people is when it comes to auditors, preachers, uh, anybody which doesn't go along with the program, the, pro, the police program, they will happily make it as much trouble as they possibly can so they don't want to go ahead and make this complaint but when it's in the other foot what do they do they'll, they'll, they will happily take a complaint there and then on the street and then act on it we've seen it over and over and over and over again but in this case it's like no you need to come to the police station so we can do it on the PCs and do all that no you can take a complaint now organise a later date and deal with the complaint the complaint is, is being assaulted it's not just him saying it there's several witnesses saying it so book up your ideas 
to be reasonable. Fine. I have to create a card, yeah, because it's a job which has happened. I have to create a crease, right. which is a, a crime report, and, you can and do, I have to you take can a do statement. That when you get back to the office. Well. Yeah, you can uh, do that. With you your statement. That. Yeah, but my statement. Oh, I can, we, can, we can set up a letter date where I was like and take a proper statement. No, no, no. Take the statement, statement now. Similar, yeah. I cannot take a statement right now because I have to create all these things. I have to create what we call a card, which is a job, basically, which has happened. And I have to create a crease, which is a crime report as well. And your statement, I have to take it down as well. You are weakness as well, so which means I have to take your witness statement. But that's your job, sir. And then I also, so if you're a witness, I have to no, take got, also your video witness. Yeah, we've got video evidence. And yeah. then obviously, yeah. with that, I have to arrange to send you links so that you can send that video evidence. Well, all you, you need to do for today, yeah? Uh, yeah take come on, be reasonable statement. with us. That's, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. If I need to do that, if you want to come with me, we back to the police. So again, saying the witnesses has to go to the police station to get their witness statement. No, you can do it there and then. You don't have to go to a police station. They can come with a little clipboard. They write up your statement and at the end of it, you can give it a little sign so they can add to it. Right at the end of your statement, you sign it so they can add to it. It's as simple as that. You sign, sign and date it. You don't need to go to a police station to do any of that at all. This is just a way to inconvenience them to stop them from making a complaint. But what you're going to see now is the complete opposite for the guy what did the attacking. Um, whenever you're free. So one of the one of their lot got something and assaulted the gentleman there. Which so, gentleman? Which one was it? This gentleman. This one here. Yeah. So what he's talking about. What, what do you mean, one of their lot? Who's there? So basically, they were having a discussion. They were preaching. Yeah, yeah. these guys. Or? Yeah, they're, they've got a license for preachers, and they were preaching. And then after that, a couple of people who were who were bisexual and that got involved and yeah. started getting on with the crowd. So, so and, yeah. And egging them on. What's that got to do with this dude, though? Because he's preaching. Oh, he's preacher. with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're all preaching. Yeah. And then obviously, um, they all just ganged up on him. And then I believe that if you're going to have a discussion, hey, there's the... no need to do that. And then they just chuck things at them. Yeah. No Who's they to... though? It's, it's just one person, one person from the crowd. Cool. All right, no worries. But your office is there as well. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks a lot, yeah? You work here, Uber? Yeah. Do you want to chat to me quickly? I've got it. Yeah, sure. Um, a gentleman down there has raised concerns about what you've been saying. And what you've been preaching. Yeah, so what we, what we, what we want to first want to deal with is the assault. So can nope. we deal with that? My colleagues doing the assault. So huh? their concerns are about... Okay, so there's... Concerns. Okay, then. So as you can see, I... did some jump cuts. I don't know what the jump cuts are. I haven't edited this video myself. All I am going to say is, you see how inconvenience they're making it for him to report an assault, but... yet they've got a gentleman over there, like you said. A gentleman over there has said that you've been... Stuff like you've been preaching. So why is it you're coming to talk about his preaching? Why are you got the person which is which has committed the assault in handcuffs? It's an assault at the end of the day. There's probable co there is probable cause for you to arrest him. There is enough grounds for you to put him in handcuffs and arrest him. He's clearly a danger. He is he cannot control his emotions, which makes him a danger to the public. If somebody says something which he he thinks hurts his feelings, he is going to attack him. So really, he should be locked up. It's that simple. You ain't just got the preachers saying it, you got bystanders saying the exact same thing. But yet you're more concerned about him hurting somebody's feelings by something he said. Yeah, that's how our police our days don't want to deal with actual crime. They want to work all around people's feelings. We now have a feelings police and a walk police. Concerns about what you've been saying? Okay, yeah, what's the concerns? Good. Well, Good. Hate Good. crimes. Saying that lesbians should be dead, apparently. You really believe you said that? <laughs> I don't know. It is laughable. It's I don't laughable. know. I wasn't here. Okay, let me just tell you, sir. Because you're, you're, I'm, you're on camera. Um, yeah, that, so we are here. You're on camera. Okay, so I'm on camera. Okay. So every Saturday, don't forget, yeah? we've been here for six years. Not one time has anyone accused us of saying lesbians should be dead. Because all we do is preach that anybody can get saved. There is love in Jesus Christ. Mm. So for someone to say that it is love, because we've been here for two, we've been here for only one. I wasn't here, was I? So I, I don't know. So, 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 so can we can, speak to you? Are you can, can, the guys preaching? Can we deal with the assault? Because yeah, it's so been dealt with. It's not been dealt with. It's not about it. It is. It's not. 
No, no, he's not taking a statement. Can you take a statement? Yeah. Not at the moment, is because I'm talking to you, he's talking to your friend, <coughs> and I'm talking to well, you Why am I asking, sir? So I'm asking you. Why am I asking? No, no, no. I'm asking you, sir. Of what you've been you saying. just told you. He's told you already. So I've already told you. I've oh. explained it to you. Um, okay. I'll, you I'll go and look at the video of what you've been saying, sir. So. so you're walking away, sir? Uh, can I get your badge number? Sir, sir. Oh, yeah. Give it to Godwin. So that is unfortunately how this video ends. This cop out. Well, I'll go and have a look at the video because it doesn't want to want to actually deal with proper crime. It wants to deal on the walk ideologies that their uh, hurt and feelings is more important than people committing actual crimes. Yes, you read that fucking right. This fucking little clown dick face honestly believes that someone's hurt feelings is more important than somebody slinging fluids around. Yes, throwing fluids on people. God knows what was in that. It could have had acid or anything in it. But yet, yeah, they wouldn't have cared. Somebody's dealing with that. I want to deal with the fact that you might have hurt his feelings. Fuck off. Absolutely fuck off. Now, this is where you might not agree with everything I'm saying. So if you, ever, if you are a sensitive little bitch, I suggest you turn the video off now. Leave a comment down below why you're a sensitive little bitch. But this is where I've had enough of it, right? These preachers was doing nothing but preaching what was said in the Bible. They're saying what 99% of the planet actually think. Yes, we think a woman is a woman and a man is a man. We don't care what you identify as, identify as what you want. Stop trying to push it on everybody else. Leave our kids alone, let them be kids and then choose their path in the future. Secondly, the fact that our police want to concentrate more on the feelings and making sure these walk fucking sensitive people's feelings are not hurt, even though they're running around attacking people, is, is fucking delusional. Absolutely fucking delusional. Now, I don't care if this hurts your feelings at all. Fuck off. Seriously, you are what's wrong with the whole fucking country when your little bitch sensitive feelings get hurt from something what I'm saying. Report this video, go on, because I don't give a shit. I've had enough. All I'm getting all the fucking time is people complaining about things I'm saying. You don't like it, don't listen to me, don't watch me. It's as simple as that. I honestly don't care. Secondly, well, fuck me, I don't even know what point I'm on now. I'm just fed up. I'm stressed out of this bullshit. You've got fucking little, these LGBTQ, RSTVW people running about, flying the flags. Don't give a shit. You do that. You do that. But then you've got the police, which is supposed to be uh, impartial, sticking it all over the vehicle. So now you're getting these fucking clown cars driving around. That's not impartial at all. This is showing where our world's going. I read an article that the the armed forces wants to lower the standards to let more ethnic people and that lot in just because our the ratio's not good enough. Are you fucking for real? Seriously, you want to lower the standards to let more ethnic people in because our ratio's not good enough. Forget how, forget the fact that oh, one day these people might have to go to war and the standards are lower so the training's lower because these fucking idiots can't actually just do it by themselves. You want to put the whole country in danger just so you can get the the ratios correctly. Are you fucking ragged? I, I'm going to stop there. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought this interaction has always liked the video. It does open YouTube's algorithm, and I'll catch you on the next one.